When I, I lived in California, they have medical marijuana, so I, I was sick all the time when I lived there. It was very, <laughs> very ill. But now I live in New York, I had to get a drug dealer, which was, yeah, a drug dealer. 2013, I needed a drug dealer. This is how I got my guy. I had smoked a joint one night, and then my wife's like, hey, what do you, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? We got to figure this out. And I was like, babe, let's just order a pizza. Let's keep it simple tonight, okay? So I order the pizza, and the guy on the phone tells me it's going to be a half hour. Great. 40 minutes goes by, no pizza. So now the pressure starts to build up. Oh, yeah. And my wife and I start to play our favorite game called passive-aggressive softball. <laughs> where she heaves these loaded questions my way and I just have to gently bat them out of the way. Yeah. Which pizza place did you order from? I'm like, oh, patio. How long did they say it was going to be? Uh, about 30 minutes. Well, what time is it going to be here? I'm like, well, when it gets here, run and look at the clock. Bang. <laughs> not a nice thing to say to your wife. I know that. But I was upset because she kept bothering me about when it was going to get there. And I don't know if you guys know, but there's a new unwritten rule in America that whoever orders the pizza is now in charge of the entire pizza process. <laughs> yeah, beginning to end. Sauce quality, crust size, pepperoni distribution. It's all on your shoulders. You picked up the phone. So now more and more time's going by. And I was paranoid at this point. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I was like 90% sure that I ordered the pizza. <laughs> but there's still that 10% that floats around your brain where you're like, did I just call my dad and tell him I like pizza? Because I love pizza. He loves pizza too. We love pizza. You could put pepperonis on it or a sausage mushrooms, whatever you want. But I did, I ordered it. I did, because 10 minutes later, there was a knock at the door. I open it up, the pizza delivery guy's standing there. I was like, oh, hey man, how's it going? And he looks right at me and goes, well, not good, because I forgot your fucking pizza. <laughs> Turns away, walks down the driveway, gets in his car and drives away. And I just started laughing. I laughed so hard. I almost pissed my panties, I was laughing that hard. And my wife comes over, she's like, what is going on? I'm like, look, I'm high, but I have no idea what the fuck just happened here. This is not my fault. So I call the pizza place up, and I was like, I don't know what just occurred here, um, but your delivery gentleman came to the door, and then he didn't have the pizza, and then he yelled at me and left. And the guy on the phone was phenomenal. He's like, ah, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Frank, this kid's retarded. <laughs> right away, retard, F-bombs, horrible language. I don't want to be involved in any of this. I just want to feed my family. Gets back on the phone, he's like, I'm so sorry, man. I'm like, look, I just want a pizza. That's all I want. He's like, we are going to give you one for free. This one's on us. Please, just give us 20 minutes. 20 minutes goes by. Knock at the door, open it up. Who is standing there but the same delivery guy? This time he has a pizza, no eye contact. He's just looking at the floor. And I didn't know what to say because in my mind, I'm like, he's here to murder me and my whole family. <laughs> he's been fired and now he's here to kill us. So I was just going to be nice. I was like, oh, hey, man. What? Look at you again. That's, that's good. You had a good dry run there, buddy. All right. <laughs> good to practice things. That's a, that's a good strategy. You okay? You all right? What's going on with you? He's like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I, uh, I fucked up a bit. Um, you know, uh, uh, full disclosure, I'm super baked right now, man. I am really, really hot. And I'm like, so am I, dude. That's why I ordered this pizza two and a half goddamn hours ago. I was like, did you have a lot of deliveries? He's like, no, man, just yours. <laughs> I was like, wait, 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 hold on. You got in the car with no pizza. <laughs> Drove to my house, sans pizza, just back it ah. <laughs> and then I guess, but what, obligated to come in and scream at me? 
I'm like, what kind of shit are you smoking? He goes, it's really good. I'm like, fine, you're my new drug dealer, okay? Don't forget the weed. <laughs>